In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Cloudflare and some of its security features to block traffic from specific countries and locations. So first of all, you're going to need to have a free Cloudflare account and have one domain at minimum connected up to it. That's what we're going to use to handle the geolocation. Now, if you don't know how to do that, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like a video where I explain exactly how to get your domain all set up on Cloudflare. If enough people are interested, I'll definitely create that video for you. But assuming you've got that side of things all set up, let's just jump into Cloudflare itself and see how we can set up these geolocation rules. So from your Cloudflare dashboard, choose the domain that you want to work with from the list you have in the top corner. I've already chosen one of my domains, and let's go in and take a look at how we set up those geolocation options. So we're gonna come over into the Security tab, expand this, and come down to Security Rules. You may be prompted at this point in time to update to the new dashboard, at which point, if you say yes, it'll take you back and you'll just have to come back at the security rules a second time. That being said, once you're inside here, all we need to do is come into the custom rules section. Inside here, we're gonna create a new rule. Choose custom rules. And from here, we've got some options. The first thing we can do is give this a name. So let's just say, of course, blocked countries. So that's just the name that we want to use. Name it whatever makes sense to you. So at a glance, you can see exactly what this particular rule applies to. Now underneath, we've got the way in which we want to handle this. So you've got things like field, and we can choose things like cookies and countries and continents and those kinds of things. We're specifically more interested in countries and potentially continents than the other options, but you can use the same kind of setup here to handle various different kind of rules in which you want to block various different parts of your site. So let's come down in this example and choose country. Then you can see we've got an operator, which is basically equals, does not equal, as in, or is not in. So you could use kind of reverse logic here if you wanted to, if you want to sort of block everything by your country. This is a great use case if you have a website that is literally only in one country, deals with only one country, and wants to stop traffic, sapping their resources, things like traffic, data resources, those kinds of things, you can simply do that here. We're gonna say equals, and then we're gonna choose what country we want. And as you can see, we can just choose from the list of countries. So let's just say, for example, plug in one at the air, you want to block Russia, for example, where well, you can choose Russia from there, there's your Russian Federation, and now we can block traffic coming from Russia. Now, obviously there's gonna be ways around this. This isn't gonna be a perfect scenario, but it is a good starting point if you want to mitigate a lot of traffic that may be coming in using normal methods. If you want to add more in, then you can see we can use and or or operators. So we could say country equals Russian Federation, and we say or country equals, let's say Algeria in this example. So now we're just saying we want both of these countries to kind of be blocked. So once you've done that, you can say what action do you want to take? Let's expand this, and you can see we can manage the challenge. So in other words, they're going to be challenged if they come from there to confirm that they are human being and not some kind of bot traffic. You can block them completely if you want to, and you've got other options here, like a JS challenge, skip, interactive challenge, and so on. So various different ways in which you can handle it. In this example, we're going to say we want to just plain old block them. So we'll choose block from the list, and we can just click on deploy. That may take a few moments to take effect, but now you'll see that we've got a security rule, blocked countries, countries equal to Russia and Algeria, I think it was. And then what we want to do, block them, and you can see the number of events in the last 24 hour period, and we can kind of get a breakdown here, and we can see this is currently active. If you want to make changes, come in and you can see we can edit this, disable it, duplicate it, and so on. So we choose edit, for example, and say, actually, Algeria, you're going to come on through. We can get rid of that and we can save this and we've got everything updated. So it is that simple to set up security rules. If you'd like me to go into more detail with this and show you more rules and how you can do more things here with Cloudflare or just how to use Cloudflare in a little bit more detail, please do let me know in the comments section down below. And if enough people are interested, I will absolutely create more content on Cloudflare. Anyway, have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.